Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Pathfinder Kingmaker. It is by Alcat Games and Deep Silver, and it released on September 25th, 2018. I do apologize for the late coverage of this. I was expecting to already have the game before it released, and unfortunately that was not the case. They had sent me beta access a long time ago to showcase the game, kind of hype it up, you know, promote the game. I was all for it. I thought the game was great. I really enjoyed my time with it. And then about two weeks before release, I hadn't heard from them, so I, I sent them an email to see, and, you know, was I going to get, like, the full game? What Like, what was going on with them? And nothing. Radio silence for the last two weeks. I don't know what's going on, why the developers just ignored me or didn't get back to me. And apparently, it's not just me. Developers are just radio silent altogether now. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully, everything's cool with them. We'll see. Either way, I didn't have the funds, because I expected to already have the game, so, again... Hence the late coverage. I apologize for the lengthy intro, guys. Let's hop in, c create the character. I'm just gonna pretty much, I'm gonna play a dwarf barbarian. That's like my mental, that's what I wanna do. That's what we're gonna do, and it's gonna be fine, hopefully. So we're not gonna go and bog down a ton on all the character creation and everything else. So hopefully we get through this a little bit quicker and we can play catch up with all the other people who are already blasting our way through Pathfinder Kingmaker. So. I'm going to play on normal mode basically because I do struggle with these games a bit. And while challenging mode seems okay, I'm not familiar with the Pathfinder system. And that's one of the things I recommend. So until I'm a little... We'll see. We'll see, guys and gals. It's very possible that I may come back and play this again at some point. Because I really do enjoy these types of games. Anyway, we're going to create a character from scratch as I've already stated. We are going to be a Dwarven Barbarian. I don't know if we have a good representation of that anywhere in here. But that is what I would like to do if I had set to go with a dwarf with like heavy armor and a shield. Not exactly what I'm leaning toward, but yeah, I can, I can roll with it. I can make it work. Like, it's okay. That is a creepy looking fellow. He must be a gnome. I feel like there's only one dwarven portrait. That seems kind of bad ish. Like, there should be a few more, right? Like, more than one? No? That's, that's fine. Anyway, that's what we're going with. We are a dwarf. We are going to be a dwarf. So there's the dwarf. Slow and steady. I just want to see what we actually have. I'm not going to go through. Normally when I do these, I have like an entire video or even two or three sometimes, which is crazy, I know. But an entire video dedicated to all the different character classes you can make and all the different races and all that stuff. So you guys can like check that out. And usually it's before the video or the game releases. You guys can check that out and know what you want to get into before you start playing, before you get your hands on the game. But now, we're again, we're playing catch-up. So slow and steady. They have a base speed of 20 feet. Their speed is never modified by armor or encumbrance. Oh, that's cool. Stability gain. Four racial bonus to their combat maneuver defense when resisting bull rush or trip. Hardy. Two racial bonus in saving throws against poison spells. Spell-like abilities. Okay. Defensive training. Giants. Gain four dodge. Bonus to AC against monsters of the giant subtype. Subtype. Hatred against orcs and goblinoids, plus one racial bonus on attack rolls against those. That's fine. Keen senses. Dwarves, elves, gnomes, half, el half elves, half orcs, half lanes receive, plus two racial bonus on perception check. Okay. And we are proficient with battle axes, heavy picks, and war hammers. And treat any weapon with the word dwarven in its name as a martial weapon. I love it. They're a stoic but stern race. Uh, you guys can pause and read that. Again, I want to get into this as quickly as we can. I saw a clean shaven somewhere. I don't know where, but it's fine. Anyhow, um, main hand's going to be our right hand, because we are right-handed. Uh, we have our stats. Do we have any additional points to go with? No, I think those are our starting stats. I'm a little underwhelming, I'm not going to lie. I feel like we should have more, but it's okay. Body type. Uh, we're going to be a barbarian, so I'm going to say like we're going to go mid, mid there. I'm okay with that face. Hairstyle, the mohawk, I think, has to be what we do for the barbarian. And then we want we want a pretty epic beard. So I'm going to say this one, right? Yeah, I like it. I like it. There we go. We are beardy. We are good. Um, a little bit pale. Um, yeah, we'll go with a little bit pale. That, that's fine. All right, I like it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Next up, class. We are going to be a barbarian. 
All right, so we have a lot of stuff here to kind of digest and just, just bear in mind that we are learning as we go. I did play this, but it was several months ago, and again, we'll see. I'm not going to be an Armored Hulk. I'll probably just be a base Barbarian. Uh, armored Hulk. Let's see, some Barbarians sustain the hides and leathers uh, used as armor by most of their kin. Instead, they master the heaviest armors, even those created by more civilized people, to gain greater protection and stability in battle. We have Mad Dog. Though named for the wild savages who fight alongside rabid dogs, mad dogs employ all manner of beasts as their battle brethren. That's kind of cool and vulnerable ranger. Some barbarians learn to take whatever comes their way, shrugging off mortal wounds with ease. These barbarians invite their enemies to attack them and use pain to fuel their rage. I think I'm just going to go with the base barbarian. I'm sure there's a lot of really cool stuff. I looked, I glanced over real quickly. There's a lot of different classes there, guys and gals. So there's a lot of really cool stuff. I do want to try multiples. I'll probably be playing this on my own a bit. Who knows? Maybe we'll stream it at some point. Eh, it's good stuff. We're not going to load a pre-made build. Do I have to do anything here? I don't think so. I think this is all set due to the Barbarian. Alright, so let's continue on. Okay, good. We are going to be able to modify our attributes. I thought that was low. So this is the base start, and then we get to modify it. Alright, that's cool. We don't use spells. That's fine. Uh, I'm okay with all these things right now. Uh, we're going to be strengthening it up because that's what we do. I think Constitution is going to be pretty important for us as well. Uh, I don't know what Wisdom does for us. Every creature falls to zero, loses consciousness. What? Well, why? What, what does that even mean? Well, again, that's something that we'll learn as we go. Um, intelligence is all about spells and wizards. Okay. Constitutions. Does it does it show? Usually it says stuff that's like important for various characters. I assume these two are the most important. That's why I even went down that. Dexterity is about what? Dodging an armor class and stuff. Maybe we'll put a couple points into that. Let's go all in. It's fine. Our charisma can be bad. We're barbarians after all, so... Alright, the green bubbles must be important ones for us. So athletics are definitely up there. We'll put one rank into that. Mobility, dex, armor check, penalty. So you can move near opponents without provoking an attacks of opportunity. Keep your balance restraints. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to be mobile because we're not going to be super heavily armored if I'm not mistaken. Uh, persuasion, not going to happen. Perception. Uh, read secret messages, get hunches, notice creatures and details and search locations. Um, I, I guess perception? Okay. So we got through that. We're less than 10 minutes in. We're, we're still doing okay. We're, we're knocking some of these out. I don't know how many of these we're going to get. Uh, we have to choose abilities. These are the recommended features. Weapon focus. Choose one type of weapon. You can also choose unarmed strike or ray if you're a spellcaster as your weapon for the purposes of this feat. Uh, one plus bonus to all attack rolls. You gain this feat multiple times. Its effects do not stack. Each time it applies to a new type of weapon. So I, I guess that's what we should have. And it's going to be the battle axe. Is that a two-handed weapon? What do we know about the battle axe? Um, the battle axe has to be a two-handed weapon, right? Or is there a great axe? There's a hand axe, too. I wouldn't mind getting a pick. Oh my god, there's so many weapons. Wow. Alright. So I don't know what anybody else is going. I'm going battle axe. You guys know me. You know I love the axe. The two-handed axe, that is my jam. So that's what we're going to do. Um, that's it, right? We say next. Okay, choose voice. I'm always ready. No. Get it off me. I'll carve my name onto your flesh. I am superior. Yup. Spells not working yep. like that. That's a hundred percent. Yup. Absolutely going to happen. Hundred percent. All right, we're gonna be born on the thirteenth uh, day of Gazran. We have to choose our name. Alright, sorry about that, guys and gals. I had a name in mind, I just didn't know how to spell it. So, we're going to be Galileo Humpkins. I could have faked it, but I figured I'd do it this way. Alright, so what are we going to be? I think we're going to be... I think we're going to be new chaotic neutral. Can we be chaotic neutral? I don't know if we can. 
Is that an alignment we can be as a barbarian? Feels like. Feels like one we should be able to be. Alright, so there we go. We're going to be chaotic neutral. And aren't we just adorable? I think everything is set. We're complete. Let's uh, let's roll out with this. Alright, I'm pretty excited. I think we did that right around 10 minute mark. Give or take. <sighs> Should go probably pretty bad. I don't know. I had a lot of fun when I played this in beta. I thought it was a fantastic game. Our really... story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Was really looking forward to this game releasing. So, I will shut up, we'll enjoy the opening, and let's do this. That, that was literally the opening. Okay. Ah, here we go. Where are they? This is taking forever. It didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Yeah, they will. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. So nice. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. All right. What exactly is happening here? Hmm. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. Thank you. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. Okay, what is Restov? Is this going to be like a tool to... Oh, it is. Restov is one of the two largest cities in the fertile region of Rossland in southern Brevoy. Lord Mayor Yosef uh, Sel Selemius leads the city, which is a trade and cultural center that borders the River Kingdoms, the Shrike River, and the Stolen Lands. As the birthplace of the Aldori dueling style, the city boasts several Aldori and Taldan dueling schools, which has led to the city being favored or a favored place for young nobles to practice dueling championships. Most prominent amongst them, or among them, is the Aldori Academy, widely regarded as the region's finest war college. Cool. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Huh. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Yeah, I have a few, but uh, sorry, I, I did forget to uh, hover over some of the green text already, so I'll try to remember moving forward. The Stolen Lands are an almost wholly unsettled region in the northeastern section of the River Kingdoms, bordering the nation of Brevoy and serving as a buffer between Brevoy and the River Kingdoms. Traditionally the haunt of bandits and mon monstrous humanoids, the Stolen Lands are regarded as stolen by all nations along their border, even though none have ever been able to keep these realms under their control for long. All right, there's a whole team of us. Who exactly will receive the Baron's title? Why not just recognize the Stag Lord as Baron? You're helping us found a barony? What do you gain from such generosity? 
What can re what rewards can we expect exactly? You're helping us. Don't ask stupid questions. Uh, why should you even care? What they have to gain and why? That's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. Mm. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. It is a battle axe, little man. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with. Not bandit gangs and monster whores. Well, that's fair. Why not just recognize the Stag Lord as the Baron? That's a good point. As I see it, this Stag Lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here. And it won't, while I still breathe. Alright, sword lords. The Aldori sword lords arose when famed swordsman a Baron uh, Syrian Aldori agreed to train a select group of pupils in his dueling techniques. They ruled Ross land for generations, each as prickly and impulsive as the Order's founder. Though they are considered some of the finest sword fighters in the inner sea region, they are also obsessed with personal standing and honor. All right, what rewards can we expect exactly? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? Hmm. The Lord Mayor's eyebrows raised so far he almost drops his monocle. Hmm. We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expedition. Oh, cool. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. All right. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. That sounds pretty good words, to me. Words, words, words. Significant. Financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. I don't think it would take much to fill your belly, girl. You're looking pretty thin. Of course. There will also be an official banquet Sweet. held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feet. Celebrate at my feet. <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah, there's a whole team of us, so who exactly will receive the Baron's title? I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Uh -huh. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Fair play. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. Uh, Jamandi clears her throat loudly, interrupting the argument. She takes a long pause, waiting for the voices to die down as everyone directs their attention toward her. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. All right, it's clear as day. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go, and return in triumph. Thank you. The, the legend of Galileo Humpkins shall reign supreme for all of eternity. Or something. I don't know. Stuff's happening. It's fine. Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So... Shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? I like Lindsay. She's the first one that came up to me. I like her. I, I am a fan. You are going to be part of my group. I'm assuming that I get to choose the people I want to bring. So absolutely, you just made yourself a, a lifelong friend, Lindsay. Uh, we sure will. Just just wait. We have plenty of great feats in store. Uh, I'm Galileo Humpkins. Pleased to meet you. What do you want from me? Two. 
Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Uh huh. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. I like you when more. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Mm -hmm. Someone who'll be praised in mm -hmm. poems and songs. This. Lindsay this blushes a little. This is the person I'll write my book about. Wait, a book? I'm no hero, just a mercenary. Wait, a book? Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. Go ahead. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Exactly! See? Smart! I, I like Lindsay. Lindsay, you are awesome. You're, you're my muse. It's a bard, muse, music. That's. Hmm. And then I thought I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die, or maybe that horrific scythe lady, or God forbid, Tartuccio. No way. Not a bad plan. It's settled then. I'll accomplish the feats and you'll write them down. Yeah, what about that barbarian? She looks pretty heroic. I don't think her name is Amiri, but I'm a barbarian. There's only allowed to be one barbarian. It's me. My mohawk says so. Deal. All right, it's going to be me. I'm going to do all the feats and she's going to write it down. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Bye, Lindsay. Thank you so much for stopping by and talking with us. Uh, the first steps on the road to glory, my quill takes its first sip in the ink pot, and uh, hmm, stuff happened. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, click on the location you want to walk, and your character will start moving toward it. The location will be marked with a special symbol. The location is inaccessible. The symbol will instead appear in the nearest accessible location. I assume I want to talk to some more people. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to see. Oh, yeah. We get the movement with the WASD keys, as we should. We have Q&E down here. That's pretty sick. I like that. Uh, we have Charge as a special ability. What is this one? Uh, is that is that Treat Affliction? To treat an affliction? Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. It's like a, a curative thing. I got you. I'm all over it. I know what's going on. I have no idea what I'm doing. Fighting defensively, you can choose to take a minus four penalty on melee attack rolls and combat maneuvers to gain two dodge to your armor class. Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff. Rage, yeah. Can I have rage like on my bar so I can see how much I have? Oh, I totally can. That's awesome. Oh, we have our belt. Oh, this is so cool. All right, sorry. I, I, I'm a I'm a very big fan of everything that I'm seeing right now. I love the like the scroll thing. It's gonna be really hard for me to figure out adventurer. Okay. I don't want to talk to you at all, man. But it looks like you're one of the few people that I actually can talk to. I won't be home. No, no, don't go over there. Oh, oh, we have like extra. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Sorry. So we can have like all sorts of extra stuff. Is there a way to have stuff appear on the ground, like people we can talk to or any of that? Tab. What if there's a way to toggle it? I'm sure there is. I'll probably have to play around with something. Oh, where did the little dude go? Where did Tartu go? Or whatever his name is. Uh, let's go talk with Harum. He seems very happy and chipper. To move the camera, wazzed, arrow keys, middle mouse button. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I'm all over it. This exposition is surely doomed. Oh, you don't actually want to even say anything to me. Alright, that's that's fine. What game is Jamandi playing? I'm not used to feeling like a pawn. It looks like we don't actually need to talk to him. We just have to get out of this place. Alright, onward we go. I hope Lindsay fights. Psycon is the exit to the current area. I, I know. Oh, that's a cool saving screen. So I know a lot of folks have been wanting to see this get covered by me over the course of, you know, since the beta and everything else. So, I, again, 
I would have preferred to have done it a little earlier than now, but it's here, and you guys can enjoy. That was weird. Help! Help! Oh dear. Lindsay bursts into your room. She looks scared. Her face is smeared with soot, and she holds a weapon in her hands. Help! Help! Is this a joke? Get out of my room. What's going on here? The mansion's under attack. We need to help. Some okay. villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. As if to lend credence to Lindsay's words, a scream echoes from the hallway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're about to embark on our... Nope, you're not going anywhere. Okay, pause, combat, general. Combat happens in real time. You can pause the game at any time by pressing space. Dice rolls, most of the game mechanics are based on the Pathfinder role-playing game system and use dice rolls to determine the results of actions. Most common die has 20 sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initiative. When a battle starts, each combatant makes an initiative check. The higher the initiative, the earlier the character can act. Initiative scores can be viewed in the combat log. All right, that's fine. Uh, it's Each round lasts six seconds. Okay. Attack roll. An attack is a is a character's attempt to strike an opponent. The result of an attack roll depends on many factors. Wielded weapons, the combatant's abilities, etc. An attack succeeds if the result of an attack roll equals or exceeds the target's armor class. Damage. The amount of damage dealt in the case of a successful attack depends on the weapon's stats and other factors such as buff spells, attack rolls, results, and damage numbers can be found in the combat log. Armor class, the higher a character's armor class, the more difficult it is to successfully attack them. It combines many factors such as equipment stats, dexterity bonus, passive abilities, and so on. I am superior! Well, that was a lot of yelling. Initiative check, uh, we got a 9, he got a 13, so that's not great for us. We're going to try to charge him down. The spell's not working like that. Well, he did. We killed him. He did not do much to us. In fact, he didn't do anything to us. Uh, okay, follow Lindsay. Leave the hall. Those are our, our things. You can interact with various objects such as bodies of dead opponents by clicking on them. Interact uh, interactive objects are highlighted when you hover your mouse over them or press tab. Okay, so he had some stuff. We're going to collect it. I don't think we're going to need any of that stuff. Oh, we're using a sword and a shield. That's so weak. Why don't we have a battle axe? Oh, wait, 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 we do. We do have a battle axe. What am I doing? Give me my second weapon set. How do I switch that? Uh, this? Yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. Can I... We, we are rocking the battle axe, right? Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the game had just basically begun. And our adventure as Galileo Humpkins is underway, and it's going to have to wait until the next episode. I know, I wanted to get a little bit of gameplay in. We did. We got the storyline. We know what's going on. There's an attack. We met Lindsay. We killed some dude. It's good. It's a good start. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be back tomorrow with more. I'm going to try to get it probably every day of the next week as well. So you'll see like seven episodes coming up over the next week. And then we'll see where we go. Maybe it'll be every other day or something along those lines. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of the wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, as it always is, in various links. <sighs> and if you enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Give me that like, ladies and gentlemen. And until the very next episode, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thanks for stopping by the Freak Show, and I'll see you later. <laughs>